What's up guys, welcome to the channel. Welcome back to the channel. This is Living in Morris County and today I'm gonna to be taking you on a vlog tour through Randolph, New Jersey, through the different sections of town to give you a true boots on the ground feel for what it's like to live in each section. And you're gonna to wanna to stay tuned till the end to make sure that you know exactly where you wanna settle down if that's what you're looking to do. My name is Kevin Somp and each week I bring you videos about moving to or living in Morris County and the surrounding areas. So if that's why you came here today, make sure you hit that subscribe button, crush that notification bell, and you'll be sure to get more content like this each and every week. Now I'm starting off today's video in the Ironia section of town. Ironia kind of got his name uh, back in the 1870s due to the booming iron industry in Morris County. Now that's no longer the case today. but Bill's Luncheonette, which is behind me, has also been a staple in Randolph ever since 1949. Now, my favorite sandwich here is the chicken in Paris. It's a chicken salad sandwich on a croissant. I also like the Jersey Sloppy Joe. A lot of times my wife and I will get one of each. We'll split it. It's kind of a added benefit to being married. I also enjoy the breakfast here as well. I always get tail ham, egg and cheese on that croissant, big croissant guy. In the Ironia section of town, we're on the far west portion and technically Bill's Luncheonette is in Chester. And you might be saying, Kevin, isn't this a Randolph video? And I'll say, yes, in fact, it is a Randolph video because right behind me to my left is the pizza pub, which technically isn't Randolph. So I'm right on the border of Chester and Randolph. Dover Chester Road is right here in front of me and hence the name if I go down this way east it's gonna bring me to Dover if I go west it's gonna bring me to Chester in about eight minutes now I would describe this section of town as being the most rural of all the most rural feeling of Randolph now with that you have kind of a little further spread out homes bigger properties um, potentially you know more square footage of these homes I would say the vast majority are larger homes is that the case for all of them no of course there's exceptions um, but my personal opinion is that the larger homes tend to be in this area and the next one that we're gonna go to which is Mount Freedom now I'm just gonna do a quick spin around here so you can see I'm kind of surrounded by trees you know kind of in the woods it's kind of like a farmy type area relatively quiet aside from the highway traffic which again it's a two-lane road but it's a really busy two-lane road so but if you're kind of further off of um, Dover Chester Road very quiet you hear the birds chirping the cicadas humming um, all that good stuff so definitely uh, the most rural part of town lots of the parks and the trail systems are located in or concentrated in this section of town so if that's the feel you're going for Ironia might be for you but there's still four more sections to go to so Let's hop over to the Mount Freedom section and see what that's all about. Also rich in history. So stay tuned for that one, all right? What's up guys? So I just parked in the Mount Freedom section of town. I'm in the parking lot of Rosie's Italian Restaurant. I was here with some friends a couple weeks ago. I got the Calamari Fra Diavolo. It was delicious. Uh, this is a really popular spot on a weekend. This place is packed. Parking lot's packed. It spills over into the bank parking lot. And uh, we're right off of Sussex Turnpike. I would consider this like the heart or the center of town. And at one point in time, this was actually a vacation destination uh, by the likes of none other than Frank Sinatra. Uh, there was 11 hotels at one point in time, 45 bungalow communities, swim clubs, uh, and all sorts of stuff like that. And then with the 
uh, addition of the Garden State Parkway and the New York Thruway, uh, it became easier to go to other destinations and uh, Randolph, New Jersey as a vacation destination kind of fizzled out. So kind of some cool history, but I'm just walking towards Sussex uh, Turnpike right now, which is an extremely busy road. And with that, I would actually consider Mount Freedom, like Ironia, to be more rural, and that's in the sense of uh, more wooded area, further spaced out homes, larger homes, and actually probably the highest concentration of large homes are actually in this um, Mount Freedom section. Uh, with the caveat of the Misty Mountain neighborhood, those range about 2,500 square feet, and the other large colonials are like closer to 4,000 square feet. But check out my Randolph Neighborhoods video if you want more specifics on each neighborhood and kind of the prices and the sizes and stuff like that. But as you can see, very busy road. If I go down here to my left, I'm in Morristown in about 12 minutes. Uh, this light that you can kind of see, I don't want to get hit by a car here, but you can see the light that's currently red. If I make a right at that light, it's Brookside Ave. And that brings you all the way down to downtown Mendham in about eight minutes. So just to kind of give, your, give you some bearings about where you are. But yeah, in terms of kind of commercialization and restaurants, a lot of restaurants are actually in this little hub, this little downtown heart of Randolph hub. Unlike the Ironia section, which is kind of limited. Obviously you got Bill's and the Pizza Pub and that tiny little strip mall. But there's definitely a few more options in terms of restaurants. Uh, Verona's is right down the road, also a really good option. And the Acme grocery store, I'm walking towards it right now. The post office is in this section of town. Uh, there's a couple banks. There's, uh, you know, there's a bunch of different stores. There's a vet veterinarian uh, clinic right up the road here. So there's definitely a lot going on here, which you would think would be not a rural area, but aside from honestly this road, Sussex Turnpike, it, it is more rural. The further you get from this road, it, it is a more rural type feel. Now, before we get going, check out some of the B-roll from some of the neighborhoods in this section of town. See if you might, you know, like the feel of certain neighborhoods, whatever. But we're gonna head over to the Shangam Lake area, which also has some history to it too. So as you can see, Randolph has a lot of history to it. And it's got a different feel to it. It's, a, it's definitely a more secluded vibe. So um, stay tuned for that. But for now, enjoy the B-roll. Alright guys, so now I'm in the Shangam Lake section of town, uh, which I always feel like I'm doing something wrong whenever I come here, drive here, uh, walk around here. It's got this like gated community feel to it, minus the gate. Um, however, now the beach is gated and it does say private property, so it kind of reinforces my feeling that I don't necessarily belong. But fortunately, I've never seen any of the HOA amenities being an armed guard, so I think we're going to be alright for the sake of this video. Now, Shangam Lake actually used to be a brook that was dammed at one point in time to power an iron forge. So that dam then created a pond and later this became a lake. Now, super secluded feel, obviously by that gated kind of feel uh, that I get when I come here, but it's just beautiful. I mean, I get the sound of a, a babbling brook behind me. I don't have the sound of highway traffic and not to say that Mount Freedom and uh, the Ironia sections are busy or trafficy by any means, but this one just just hits different. I don't know if you, I'm sure you could kind of feel just by this video. I mean, look how beautiful this lake is. We got a bunch of kids fishing off the dock here, and you know I know some people that live in this community, grew up in this community, and have nothing but amazing things to say about it. So 
because this does have such a secluded feel to it, there really isn't any kind of industry or commerce in this section of town. However, I was only probably a five minute drive away from Mount Freedom on my way here. So although there aren't any restaurants or stores or anything in this town, which you might want, um, you're only five minutes away. So definitely a great option, the best of all worlds. You're maybe a 10 minute ride to Morristown. So if you ever have to go to New York City or if that's part of your commute, just know that you can kind of have the best of all worlds. You can have that urban life in the city, come and then come home to paradise, really, uh, in, in New Jersey and Morris County specifically. So this is kind of the end of the most rural feeling areas of our tour in uh, Randolph. Next, we're gonna head over to the Victory Garden section of Randolph, which again, I'm calling this section Victory Gardens. As you can see on this map, this is what I'm designating it as. Um, I know that there is a Victory Gardens town that's not Randolph. Um, I don't want to get that confused. I'm just calling this section Victory Gardens just for the sake of this video and organizing. So I'm going to meet you guys over at the County College of Morris in the Victory Garden section. So for right now, enjoy that B-roll of the homes in Shangam Lake. Alright guys, so I'm in the Victory Garden section of Randolph on the campus of the County College of Morris, or CCM as the locals like to call it, or Harvard on the Hill as the students like to call it. Now, this is a community college that ranks in the top 1.8% of the entire country in terms of community colleges, and which is a tremendous resource and benefit to having in Morris County and Randolph specifically. Now, I chose this location because number one, it's beautiful, it's a great school, but number two, in the Victory Gardens section of uh, Randolph, it be starts to become a little more commercialized, a little more industrialized. A lot of the uh, fun things to do activities in my previous video uh, are in this section. So, less, there's still houses, there's still residential houses in this area. I would say there's less neighborhoods, more houses scattered throughout, but, you know, definitely a more, Resi or definitely a more commercialized a feel and a more industrialized feel in this section of town. Now I'm going to wrap up today's uh, vlog tour of Randolph in the Millbrook section of town, which also has a more kind of industrial commercialized vibe as well. Still has residential houses, just a little tighter together, um, not as much land, but uh, yeah. So check out this B-roll of the Victory Garden section and uh, I'll see you guys in Millbrook. Before I leave the County College of Morris, I thought it was a good perspective to give you guys. This is the parking lot. You can see there's a lot of uh, clean, renewable energy sources going into the powering this campus. But right behind me, you've got, you get right there, there's a NJ Transit bus coming through. And Route 10 is just beyond um, this parking lot. So just see if you feel, that that's where we're at. The closer we get to Route 10, the more commercialized, industrialized we get. Uh, I've never seen a NJ Transit bus in really any other section. I'm sure they're, they're in Millbrook as well, but in you know Mount Freedom, Ironia, uh, or Shangam, I've never seen anything remotely close to an NJ Transit bus uh, driving through. So just thought that was a little added uh, thing I could put in this video just to give you a little bit more perspective on um, the feel for the Victory Garden section of Randolph. All right, so I'm wrapping up today's Randolph vlog tour in the Millbrook section of town, right in front of the Randolph Diner. 
Um, I'm at the intersection of Center Grove Road and Route 10, which is probably the busiest intersection there is in Randolph. But as you can see, we've got the Randolph Diner. Diagonally across the street, we got White Supermarket and another strip mall. Um, there's a strip mall behind the Randolph Diner. We've got BP gas station. So there's a ton of strip malls, restaurants, commerce, um, and different, lots of options in the Millbrook section of town. I've got to get out of this person's way here. Sorry. Yep. And then, um, as far as the B-roll that you're going to see in a little bit, it's the neighborhood that's just beyond the BP. So you can see that there's great houses in this area, great neighborhoods, and a little bit of something for everyone. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And as I mentioned previously, as much as I like making these videos, I like even more to help you with those real estate needs. So that number popping up below, feel free to give me a call, shoot me a text, I'd be glad to help you out. Till next time guys, enjoy that B-roll.